Good morning everyone, it's Julie Harley from juliesdreamscapes.com um, Today I'm just going to go through my journaling that I do to help me with my inspirations. Uh, I started this journal at the start of 2023 and I started off with some collage work and back in 2015 I went to Japan and I brought home some Japanese newspapers and I've been playing around with how they would look in different situations so the collage paper um, experiment is on this page here so different types and colours and light backgrounds and dark backgrounds and whether I doubled the collage paper very thick tissue paper which I think flowers were wrapped in and use some inks here on top of that to see how it would penetrate through the paper. So I've been also experimenting um, with tonal values by only using two or three colours plus black and white uh, to see what I could make out of each uh, paint value. So using the saturated paint scheme and working it through colours from dark to light using light and black. This is another example of using only two or three colours and seeing what I can get from that. And then adding a bit of collage paper in here with a bit of ink on it. So I am a mixed media artist and I do like to play around. This little section here is um, watercolour, uh, water acrylic paints on canvas. Um, and I taped it all off used the same three or four colours and made little um, paintings out of each one of them. I do that several times throughout the journal and once again I'm mucking around with uh, tissue paper ink and trying to work out what I'd like. So I've been painting tissue paper with different acrylic paints and inks and I've been using um, paint brushes as well as rolling. So I got a new set of um, ink pens so I was just doing a test page here to see how they all work. Another little um, acrylic painting that I've actually done this one in the book. I've taped it in. Once again just only using minimal colour, trying not to use too many colours. This is the colour scheme for these four little paintings here. Um, I did it on a bigger sheet of canvas, taped it all off, and then just sort of started mark mating, making. Another tissue colour trial. Then I decided to go something a bit brighter. I think I used some inks on this and also some collage. So I used some tissue paper, I painted it purple and then decided oh that would look really good for little pink irises, uh, little purple irises. Just a little bit more collage. So this is in July, I came back from overseas, I went to Europe, I went to France, Italy and Greece. This is um, Scopolos, it's a little quick uh, acrylic sketch of the Mamma Mia chapel in Scopolos. I later painted quite a large painting of this whole scenery which I'll show you later. And some more experimenting with tissue papers and different types of papers, collage papers. While I was over in France, I did go to Monet's garden and I was very inspired by his whole garden. I fell in love. Um, so I decided to try and uh, do some cards with different flowers on it. So this is just the experiments in my book. 
to show you what I was working on. A few more. The daffodils were out. It was July here. And the daffodils were starting to bring. So I quite like the, the texture of charcoal um, in my work. However, it gets very messy, so you have to really put a uh, spray on it to make sure it doesn't uh, move onto your other pages. The spray I use is called Fix It, uh, and that just sort of stops any of the pastel or charcoal from running. Hmm. So for the card work, I'll, I actually got myself a jelly plate and I started experimenting with the jelly plate using different inks and things. Uh, and I just took leaves out of the garden. I've got uh, some beautiful Japanese maple trees out there and I've picked a few leaves off other plants as well. So this is an experimentation of um, blue and green ink. And then I went over to acrylic paints. Once again, a little bit of charcoal work over here and some uh, very washed out uh, green paint, very watered down green acrylic paint. And then I moved on from that. So this is a piece of plastic film which was given to me by Officeworks and I wanted to see if I could paint on it. So I hung it on the wall and I started painting on it. Um, this is also inks. And I think that's a mixture of inks and jelly pastel though. In my um, notebook I tend to put little notes in there and sometimes I write notes to my children. So hopefully one day they'll find them. <laughs> That's another charcoal with um, acrylic paint or watercolour probably, that one. And here I've written a few notes on the jelly pad and what I've been experiencing and what works and what doesn't work. I find it really good to take some notes because when you come back to things you, you can look through and see what works and what doesn't work. And then I started doing some sketching and mucking around with different mixed media um, using crayons and pastels and textures and different pens and ink pens. Um, I've made a collection of work uh, called Warburton and I'll hopefully we'll get it in a gallery one day. And then this is just um, acrylic paints. I had brought home from Italy a really nice um, little dish with pears, sorry, with lemons on it. And I was very inspired by that. So I, let's get more of that painting. <laughs> I painted it on that plastic film I was talking about. I've used pastels, acrylic paints. Um, you couldn't use ink on this paper because it was just too too shiny and the ink wouldn't adhere to that. So that's just bits of that. And then back to ink painting again. That's my Japanese maple tree out the front. I try and do a sketch, not every day, but when I think of that, um, just to sort of warm me up and get me ready for my next piece of work I'm going to do. Um, I find it inspiring just to sort of sit outside and sketch, especially in the warm weather. It's been so cold here in Melbourne and um, you know, the more we can get outside and do a bit of planning and painting, the better. I haven't done a lot of that though. That's the end of that sketchbook. For a travel book, I take this one. It's smaller, it's an A5 size. 
And here I've just been playing around with some inks. I'm trying to change the compositions up by putting different pots and things in there. And just looking at nature itself and the shapes of leaves. Using inks. Using this one, well mainly I've been using inks and fountain pen or ink pen. Uh, it's actually my calligraphy pen. And that's a pot of hydrangeas I had out in the backyard. That was a quick sketch <laughs> of Positano. That was a photo I took from the the boat going back to uh, the Amalfi Coast. And then I've, I've been growing some freesias in the garden, so I just did a quick sketch of them. And pansies, I'm in love with pansies. Huh? So I've just documented the shades and colours. That's another tree. I find each time I use this little sketchbook, I'm getting better and better. <laughs> We went over to Fitzroy Island in September. Um, I did some snorkeling and the coral reefs are beautiful. So I just wanted to put a little picture in to sort of give me inspiration for down the track. And then I started uh, painting clownfish. <laughs> That's just some of the island coastline. Another clownfish. It's a handy size book to take away on holidays. It doesn't take up too much room in your luggage. And then there's just some shelves on the beach. Alright. So today I'm going to continue working on some canvas paper, canvas sheet that I've been given. It's only a small piece, but I'm going to experiment with uh, inks again and see how it goes on canvas. I'm not sure how it will work. I do have a bit of a silky material that I'm going to paint on later and I'm also wanting to use the inks to see how it works. <laughs> 